If you've been using AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude, you've probably seen how much the quality of your output depends on how well you prompt it. But here's the thing most people miss. Prompts aren't just one-time inputs, they're assets. And when managed right, they can become one of the most valuable tools in your creative or operational workflow. In this video, we'll break down what a prompt library is, what it's becoming essential for teams that rely on AI, and how you can start building one that actually drives results. Let's get into it. So what exactly is a prompt library? Think of it as your AI playbook, a centralized collection of proven structured prompts that your team can use, adapt, and reuse. A ready-to-use recipe book for talking to AI tools such as ChatGPT, DALI, or Midjourney. Instead of starting from scratch every time you write a social media post, generate code, or summarize a meeting transcript, you tap into your library, grab a prompt, tweak it and go. To get exactly what you want from AI, you often need detailed, specific instructions called prompts. But if you do it right, it saves time, keeps your quality consistent, and it means you're not reinventing the wheel every time you work with AI. These prompts we keep mentioning are the way humans interact with a large language model, enabling the AI to generate a response. They can be written in a very simple form, like a word or a question, or it can be very detailed, like a full paragraph with clear instructions. When the AI gets your prompts, it looks at everything it learned during the training from tons of text and data and tries to predict the best response based on that. This process is called inference. If you wanna learn more about how to write the perfect prompt, check out this video. We'll also link it at the end of this video and in the description below. Why does this matter more than ever? Here's the big shift. AI isn't just a novelty anymore. It's part of daily operations for marketers, analysts, product teams, customer support, you name it. But most teams still treat prompting like trial and error. That's fine at first, but it doesn't scale. We've seen teams hit roadblocks because their best prompts were buried in someone's notion doc, or worse, only existed in their head. When that person leaves or changes roles, the team loses months of experimentation. A good prompt library solves that. It turns AI know-how into shared, respectable systems. Building one doesn't have to be complicated. Start small. Begin with the prompts you and your team already use regularly. Things like writing email subject lines, creating product descriptions, and analyzing survey results. Document them clearly. Note what the prompt is for, any variables to change, like target audience or tone, and examples of good outputs. Now that you know the basics about AI prompts, let's see how you can create your own prompt library from scratch. The first step is to get organized. Start with building a spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel, Google Documents, Notion, or any other organizational platforms. Label it clearly with the title of prompt library or similar so it doesn't get lost within any other files. And don't worry about having the perfect format. The most important thing is that your team knows where to find prompts and how to use them. Once you determine how you want to organize your prompts, start building your library. Build your prompts by figuring out what you're trying to do. Start by getting clear on the task. Are you writing an email, generating ideas, summarizing a meeting, or answering a customer question? The more specific the goal, the better the result. Next, look at what tools or info you already have. Do you already have examples, templates, or old prompts that work well? Use those as a foundation so you're not starting from scratch. Decide what kind of input the AI needs. Think about what you'll give the AI to work with. Will it be a short description, a long paragraph, a list, or a question? Then you want to create a persona to guide the response. You can ask the AI to act in a specific role, such as a friendly customer support agent, a marketing expert, or a technical writer. This helps shape the tone and style of the output. Make sure to pick the right AI tool for the job. Some AIs are better at certain tasks. ChatGPT excels at versatile language use and natural conversation, while Gemini is strong at logical thinking and can understand both text and images. Claude prioritizes safety, delivering clear and thoughtful responses. Select the AI that aligns best with what you need. Write clear, step-by-step -step instructions. Don't be vague, be specific. Mention the topic, tone, length, and who the content is for. The more guidance you give, the better the results. Next, test it with your team. Try out the prompt and get feedback. See what works, what's confusing, and how it can be improved. Different people might use the same prompt in slightly different ways, so test early. And lastly, keep using it and making it better over time. As you use the prompt more, you'll see more ways to improve it. Update it regularly based on what's working, what's outdated, and what your team needs next. Once you've determined all of your prompts, 
Begin sorting so your team can access them more quickly and easily. You may organize them by task, role, project, etc. Use tags for filtering or offer a similar tone or style to tasks that are the same. This will help keep things organized and specific to each category. After they are all organized to your liking, name them in a way that makes sense to you and your company. Try to keep the naming similar across the board so it is easier to pick them out of a grouping. Make it collaborative. Your best prompts won't always come from the top down. Often, the most useful ones emerge organically from daily work. So open it up. Let your team contribute, test, and improve prompts together. You can use shared documents or dedicated tools designed for prompt management. Train your team on how to use the library so it becomes second nature. AI tools are evolving fast. So should your library. Set a regular cadence to review, test, and refine your prompts. What worked six months ago might not be the most efficient method today. And as you try new cases like voice assistants, agents, or multi-model models, you'll want to expand your prompt collection to cover those too. Keep a simple workflow in mind, something like a weekly or bi-weekly usage review, monthly feedback sessions, version tracking, or a feedback form or a suggestion section. Think of it like a living knowledge basis. The more you use it, the more valuable it becomes. So what does this mean for your team? If you're serious about scaling AI use inside your organization, building a prompt library isn't nice to have. It's essential. It empowers your team to work faster, learn from others, and unlock more consistent value from the tools you're already paying for. Our advice? Start today. Pick three use cases your team works on regularly. Write down the best prompts for each and store them where everyone can access them. That's your V1 because the difference between teams who use AI and teams who scale AI often comes down to one simple thing, how well they manage their prompts. If building a prompt library feels overwhelming, don't worry, you don't have to start from scratch. Many third-party libraries offer curated, ready-to-use prompts created by AI experts. Instead of spending hours tweaking prompts, you can browse by category, grab what you need, and get started. Whether for emails, product descriptions, marketing ideas, or coding, these libraries save time and improve consistency. Some popular third-based prompt library platforms include Team AI, which is great for organizing and sharing prompts across your team with community-driven examples, and Prompt Hero, which offers thousands of prompts for design, copywriting, coding, and more. FlowGPT is another strong option, a prompt search engine and community hub especially strong for ChatGPT users. Lastly, PromptBase serves as a marketplace where you can buy and sell high quality prompts tailored to specific outcomes. Using a third-party prompt library helps your team start quickly, especially if you're new to AI and want faster results. And remember, you can always customize these pre-built prompts over time to better fit your brand's voice, goals, and workflows. A prompt library isn't just nice to have. It can significantly level up your team's workflow. Start small, build what works, and treat your prompts like real assets. Teams that organize now will be a way ahead as AI keeps evolving. If you wanna move faster, smarter, and boost productivity, watch this video explaining the best AI tools for digital marketing, or check out this other video to learn the perfect prompt formula for ChatGPT. Subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.